Alright, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use um, 18 uh, 650 laptop batteries. So these are I got from some uh, old laptop batteries that have been laying around the house. I got, uh, they come in all kind of different colors. Alright, so typically when a laptop battery dies, not all the cells actually go bad. So um, if, if you measure the cells, if you have any cells above 3 volts, most likely you can use it. So all these are cells that had at least 3 volts on them. So I am recycling them and I'm going to build a 3S battery so I can power up my various uh, hexacopter devices. But uh, what I'm going to show you today is actually how to build a 3S uh, balance charger using um, these uh, these cells that I just showed you guys okay so I'm starting off with a Hobby King um, cable uh, which um, so you, you get this with one of the chargers from Hobby King you can buy these independently I think they're buck 25 a piece so I'm taking this cable and I'm gonna remove three uh, three four no actually three of these cables from this connector okay so I've already done that here it is, so I left uh, one cable still attached so I can show you how to remove that. I got my little uh, tool here that I picked up at a garage sale. So on this side of the connector you actually gotta press on this little tab and then pull out. Oh, you guys can see that, there we go. Pull out, there it is. So there's a little pin here that you gotta press on that latches in the connector and you pull it out. And then uh, on the other side, it's actually just the opposite. You gotta pry this, lift it, lift this plastic tab up, and then pull the wire out. Okay. So that was that. So now I, I ended up with this, which is um, the, you know the standard. I forgot the name um, connector. So it's good for 6s, but I'm only gonna use a 3s. I extended the wires. Okay. Here they are. Okay, and I'm gonna use a 18650 LiPo battery holder that I uh, picked up on uh, DealExtreme.com. So basically, um, you put uh, three of these batteries in series, and this is uh, this is the termination that I'm actually gonna attach to a Dean's connector, and um, the balancing uh, cables. Obviously, I'm gonna solder them here shortly, so I can balance charge each cell. Okay, so. Let's uh, continue with that. So I'm going to attach the main um, negative terminal. I already put a little solder on this end. Just going to add a little more. Okay, and here comes. Yeah, not sturdy enough. It looks like I'm gonna need some flux. So let me apply a little flux on the wire and on everything here. Alright, so let's try again. Add a little more solder. There we go. Now oh, that's solid. Okay, second position, which is this one here. See, I didn't have all the colors, so I only had black and red wire, so now I'm getting confused here in my, in my color legend. Alright, so that was 1S. Next one is plus termination on the side of side. Oh, 
All right. That's two S. And um, the last one is gonna go right here. That was that. Now that I've disconnected the XT60 connector from my old uh, battery case, um, my new balancing charging case is ready to go. So this is going to be the main connector that I'm going to be attaching to the charger. Um, the red and the black go to the plus and the minus of the pack. And then I have the rest of the cable, um, which is the balancing cable. Um, the, the black cable goes to the minus and then all subsequent cables go to the plus uh, polarity um, of, um, of the rest of the uh, module. So I got a plus here, I got a plus here and I got a plus there. So that's 1S, 2S, 3S. So that's how you get the 3S uh, balancing um, um, charging port here. So obviously you have the option um, of charging uh, one battery at a time, so I can feed batteries in here. Let's see. Okay. The last one here. Mm, let me use another one. I don't like this one. It's always, these things are so snug, it's just hard to take them up. There we go. Okay. Let's use this one. Okay, so let's measure. So I got a 3S here. Let's measure this. Okay, so it's reading 10.12 volts, which is perfect. That's the voltage I want it to be at. And uh, let's see if the balancing works. So I'm gonna set set this here on on 3S, and I'm gonna select balance. I don't know if it's kind of hard to tell, and let's kick it off. Okay, and let's see. Look at that. You see all the cells. I got a 3.54, 4.05, 3 3.57. So very imbalanced, but again. These are recycled batteries that I randomly uh, grabbed from an um, old laptop uh, battery, so um, we'll see how it goes. So we'll charge them. Um, I charge you got one amp, which is, you know, probably about right. I wouldn't want to increase the charging current because I really don't know the capacity of these cells. So they're probably, I'm guessing, uh, 2000 or 2200 milliamps. So I think one amp is pretty conservative, but again, I don't know the age of the cell, so I'm just playing it safe. All right, so it's charging. Looks good. So we'll um, come back later on and see how the charging went. Yeah.